What's going on everybody? This is Tom with Game Nothing Much here. And I'm going to start playing some Pokemon Green today, except I'm only going to use a Bulbasaur. So, uh, being as that this is uh, Japanese only, I can't read Jack. So, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge today, because I am I know that's options, so I'm going to go to there. I think that's tech speed. Sure. Alright, let's do a new game. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna do only Bulbasaur, so luckily I did not have to mod this at all. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and name my dude, and, uh, we're gonna get on with this game. Oh, but before I do that totally, I do wanna give a shout-out really quick. Uh, the Krabby video that I did before this is doing, uh, really well for me. It's well over, it's over 200 views, so that's, that's huge for me. I know it ain't a lot for most people, but anyway, I wanna shout-out... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ungoy, uh, 0306, Alex Collin, I guess, uh, Robolua, Captain Corden, Devin Osman, Franz T, Rivalry of Warlords, and, uh, last but not least, Victor Vasquez. You guys all left some comments on that video, and I greatly appreciate that, so thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be all the talking for right now. I'm gonna go grab Bulbasaur and head to Brock. Alright, so we are here at our very first battle ever. Um, and as you can see, I've named my rival, uh, she 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 <laughs> Only because I can't recognize anything, so I named, uh, yeah, uh, um, I think my name is like Kaka 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 or something, but anyway, so I'm gonna get through this, and then, oh man, whoa, their layout is different. And that's something. Look at that, the moves are over here, but the... The PP is over there. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to try and recognize, like, the PP, maybe, for some of these moves. Like, I assume that's Growl, and that one's Tackle. We'll see, though. Growl. Yeah, that was Tackle. Okay. So I'm gonna stumble my way through this and, uh, catch you guys outside Brock's. Alright, so check this out. I just got to Vermilion. Uh, Vermilion? Viridian? Viridian City? Whatever, Viridian, yeah. Uh, and instead of saying Mart, it says shop outside there, so... Interesting. I'm gonna point out some of these subtle differences as I find them, because I've never played the, uh, green before, so... Yeah. So, I just realized I didn't go over any of the rules. Um, basically, it's only Bulbasaur, uh, for all the battles. Yes, uh, HM friends are allowed, and what else was there? I think that's it. Nothing too crazy, just, uh, standard... Only this Pokemon playthrough. Anyway, can we take a second to appreciate this Weedle Sprite? I actually don't hate this at all. Don't hate it. I know, like, Green is notorious for having, like, derpy sprites or whatever, but I'm digging it. Also, I did learn a move, and I have no idea what it is. So I'm gonna have to try and use that one out in battle. So here we are at Brock's, and we're gonna be able to take him on, I think, fairly easily. I did wait until, uh, I learned Vine Whip because um, all I have is Tackle and, like, Leaf Seed. And I'm not really for that. <coughs> so, <laughs> what are his hands? Oh, no. All right, so that's Tackle, Growl, uh, Leaf Seed, Vine Whip. So I'm not even going to mess with anything. I'm just going to slap him in the face with some vines, put this little mutant out of his misery. Gosh, that is just an unfortunate sprite. I know that's, like, the cliche thing, but wow, is it true. Alright, Onyx don't look bad. Not bad at all, actually. Wow, he outsped me, though. That's cool. Not a bad looking Onyx, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Onyxly. <laughs> anyway, uh, Brock's done, and I'll stop talking like that. Um, the one thing I'm gonna have to pay close attention to is whenever I level up past 16, which is gonna be fairly soon, uh, I don't wanna just keep clicking through because, uh, yeah, I'll end up what do you call it, uh, evolving into Ivysaur, and I don't want to do that, so. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get out of here and make my way to Misty, where I assume I'm just gonna slap her in the face with the vines, so. Anyway. So, can we talk about the mouth on this Ekans right now? Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna get old. So, despite being about ready to die to this coffin, I want to give credit where credit is due. That's actually a pretty cool sprite. I don't hate that one at all. Alright, so here we are at Misty. Um, I just got done beating the gym. 
I'm sorry, beating the trainers in the gym. I'm not at full health, but I'm pretty confident I can uh, take her on pretty easily. But so far, our moves have not changed much at all. Um, we did gain poison powder while we were in uh, Mount Moon, but I don't really know. I don't know, I just don't think I'm going to be able to use those types of moves like poison powder or like toxic very effectively. Uh, just because uh, Bulbasaur doesn't have the best defense or HP, so it's not like I'm going to be able to wait anything out, you know what I mean? Although there is the um, strategy of like a Toxic and then Leech Seed, that combination is pretty wicked, but again, I don't know if we're going to be able to utilize that very much. But anyway, so we're wrecking house so far. Staryu's down, Starmie's about to be. What? I think Misty used something on it. Anyway. Okay, maybe an X Defend. No idea what that was. Must have missed a move. <laughs> There's a lot of this kind of stuff going on. It's like, what's happening? Nothing? It's my turn? Okay. Yep, see, so like, I have no idea what just happened there. I assume that Starmie missed a couple moves and Misty used an item, but hey, raise your hand if you care. I know I don't. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was Misty. That was about as easy as I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take on the rival, uh, go get the SSN ticket, and I'm pretty excited about the SSN. I'm gonna try and get Body Slam again. Uh, that way I can replace Tackle with something that's pretty good and it has a chance to paralyze. So, anywho, I'm gonna go do that. Alrighty, so here we are at Surge, and I miraculously got through that puzzle without battling a single person. So that was impressive, I think. Uh, dumb luck ma mainly, but you know. Oh mercy! So let's get to this battle. Um, now I do have body slam in place of tackle finally, so I can do a little bit more damage and potentially score some uh, par paralysis. Is anyway. So the goal here is just gonna body slam our way through. Um, and I discovered through a butterfree on the route north of here that. I'm going to have a lot of trouble with some of these gyms, uh, mainly Koga and Erica, or no, Koga and Sabrina, because, uh, yeah, this Butterfree knew Confusion, and boy howdy, did that wreck my HP. So, and I know I'm not going to outspeed Sabrina's Psychic types, so I'm kind of worried about that, actually. Um, same with Koga's gym. Yeah, he's the poison type. Whoa! What move is that? What move would have a number next to it? That's weird, right? Huh. I assume that's Thunderbolt? I wonder what they call Thunderbolt in this game. But anyway. Um, we're about to win this battle anywho. Another one. That is so weird. What is that? Huh. Anywho. Uh, yeah. So hey, we beat Surge. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, have issues with Koga's gym because, um, he, yeah, he's poison type. But for whatever reason, there's so many psychic type trainers in that gym. So uh, the lead up to Koga, I think, is going to be worse than the actual Koga battle itself. But I think, yeah, it's going to be Koga, Sabrina, and obviously Blaine are going to give me some fits. But other than that, I think I'll be okay. So... Anyway, oh yeah, check out my new HM friend, Bellsprout. His name is Cuckoo 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 Cuckoo. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that strikes me funny, but it does. So anyway, uh, I'm heading out to Dark Cave, Rock Tunnel, whatever it's called in this game. And uh, I'll check in with you, Cool Cat, right before we take on Erica. Alrighty, so we have just defeated the last trainer inside of Erica's Girl Power Gym. Uh, and we're ready to take her on. Um, so pretty much I haven't used any other move except Body Slam because obviously it's all grass and poison types in here and that's what I am. So we're going to try not to uh, run out of Body Slams. I just healed up. Wow, she's starting off big. Um, but yeah, okay. Mm, not as much as I wanted, but it's fine. Yeah, I found the big issue in this gym is not realizing what I've been put to sleep or whatever. Because 
obviously I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's frustrating. Hey, level 40. Alright, who she got next? Tangela. So yeah, the good part about this is, though, in this gym, they would, they would put me to sleep quite a bit. Wow, we're getting a lot of paralysis here. But the good thing about them putting me to sleep is all their moves are not very effective, and plus I'm way over leveled, so it's not like I'm actually getting hurt. It's all about running out of PP. Haha, -ha, I know. Um, but yeah. There we go. Who's her last one? Vile Bloom? Or is it Gloom? Yeah, uh, Vile Bloom. Look at that sprite. What an unfortunate looking creature. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, hit that one heavy. And paralyzed. Oh, so close. Should I insult this thing and beat it with a vine whip? I will. Ta da! Yay, we did it! Alright. Um. Okay, I just realized I turned off battle animations. I was trying to go through the settings and turn off the. from battle type to set to switch, you know what I mean? Because every time I would win a battle or beat a Pokemon, it's like, hey. Do you want to switch Pokemon? It's like, no, I don't. Because I have my HM friend Bellsprout with me. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, coo -coo 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 -coo. Um, so I was like, oh, I gotta turn these things off. And I obviously turned off battle animations also. <laughs> so, I hope that doesn't bug you too much. It definitely doesn't bug me. But, okay. Oh, yeah, we just got Mega Drain. So, yeah, that's gonna be good. Uh, the Mega Drain's gonna help a lot because, uh, I've been finding that I'm running out of HP pretty quick. Um, but, yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, where am I going next? I guess to Rocket's hideout? Yeah, anyway, I will catch you guys at the, uh, next big boss battle. Alright, we're gonna have a rival battle here in Lavender Tower. Tower? Tower? Anyway, um, I'm gonna maybe show this one, maybe not, but just so you know, we're having this battle. I cannot remember, I think... This is where it might start to be a little bit more difficult. We'll find out though. So, be at Pidgeotto, the answer for the Pidgeotto and the Pidgeot, honestly, in uh, the Elite Four, is just gonna be body slam it. Um, I can end that with a Vine Whip, I bet. Yeah. Doink. Perfect. Now, who's next? Execute. Same thing. I have to body slam. This is what I'm most afraid of. There's not a lot of... Uh-oh. That's gonna hit hard. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I went to sleep. Okay, it was hypnosis. I thought it was, um, like confusion or something. Come on, dude. Is that seed bomb? Or no, barrage, I think. Yeah. Not doing a lot of damage, just taking everyone's time up. Come on, bro. Bonk. Yeah, okay, so I've decided I'm not showing this. It's taking so long. Alright, so I'm back. That Gyarados sprite actually looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That thing is Leer? Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> um, so yeah, the um the lack of type coverage that Bulbasaur has is really gonna be a big pain in the butt. Um, because I've got three grass moves and a normal type. Um, I think I may need another normal type at some point. What do we got here? Kadabra, yeah. This one you can just body slam. Again, the psychic types are made out of paper mache, seemingly, so not that big a deal. Now this next one, the Charmeleon, is going to be a bit of an issue. Eventually. It's not right this second. Nope, okay, good. Um, but, you know, eventually the, the Charizard's gonna be a toughie. Um, I might end up teaching Bulbasaur Strength, which I know a lot of people may not like, but it's a pretty hard-hitting normal-type move, and we're gonna need some of those throughout the Elite Four, for sure. Um, because I'm not sure how well, like, Vine Whip's gonna do for us in the Elite Four. I don't think it's gonna do very well at all, so... I don't know, we'll have plenty of special moves between uh, Mega Drain and Razor Leaf, because I'm definitely keeping those two. I uh, went the wrong way. But anyway, oh gosh, what a sad looking Cubone. 
Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna finish up here in the uh, sad town, and then we're gonna go. Where am I going next? I guess I could go with Sabrina or Koga. You anyway, Um, I don't know. You guys will find out as soon as I pop up there. Ew! How is the green sprite worse? I think it's maybe the same, but it just feels worse because it's on green version. Okay, anyway, I'm gone. Alright, so you guys want to hear something funny? When I was little and I was going through Lavender Tower, um, when I first started playing uh, Pokemon Blue, I couldn't read yet, so <laughs> it was a little difficult at times, but as I was like beginning to learn how to read, these girls are called channelers in the United States version. I assume they are in like the European, but anyway, they're called channelers. Like you can channel the spirits or whatever. Well, I didn't understand that. And I kept reading them as Chandler, like the guy on Friends. And I was like, why are all these girls named Chandler? Like that's so weird to me. Oh my gosh. Anyway. But yeah, that pot into my head, I remembered that as I was doing this. Like, oh yeah, I wonder why they're all named Chandler. Anyway. Okay, I'm back to the grind. So it just clicked. These Cubone look so depressed. I couldn't tell what the deal was. His bones just like hanging down, staring off, not even at the other Pokemon. Like, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of down. Uh, okay, that's enough of the sprite talk for this segment. Alrighty, so we are here in... Da, 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 what is this? Sylph? <laughs> I can't keep the name of these things. Yeah, this is Sylph. Uh, we're getting ready to battle old... Uh, she, 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 she. So, uh, I'm not sure how entertaining this battle is going to be. If it's boring, I'll skip it. Don't you worry your pretty little heads about it. But does he have... Yeah, he's got the Pidgeot now. Which, not the worst looking sprite, if I have to say. Just gonna open with the, yeah, body slam. I hope, I think that was wing attack. Yeah, substantial damage there, but that's okay. Two shot and this thing won't be so bad. And then who's he got next? Okay, again, just body slam. Decent damage, no paralysis though. So I've been thinking, I might need to add another a normal physical move and unfortunately what I was thinking was like um, strength because it's pretty strong but unfortunately uh, in green version Bulbasaur cannot learn strength so yeah <laughs> the only option I would have uh, HM wise to teach Bulbasaur would be um, what am I thinking? Cut. Which is the exact same damage and everything else as Tackle. So not really a good move. The only thing I would gain would be saving some Body Slams um, through the Elite Four. Cause that's kind of what I'm um, setting up for is the Elite Four. The gym battles aren't so bad really. Yikes, that's going to hurt a bit. Well, he's only level 35. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. Um, but yeah, all I'm really worried about is the Elite Four, because it's the amount of PP that I have. And I have discovered, though... Ooh, 59. Good. I have discovered that Lorelei won't be as bad. Oh, here's the first showdown with a Charizard. Let's go. Body Slam. Okay, all he has is Ember right now. That's not so bad. Just gotta go with it. I didn't even pay attention. How much damage did he do? No! Oh, I think it was a critical. Doggone it. Ugh, it's good to burn these two now. Alright, I guess I'll just be redoing this. Oh, uh, boy, the, uh, the final battle might be much harder than I was hoping it would be. <sighs> here we go. Okay, so I think we're good here. I think. Um, so I had 50 HP, he hit an ember, and it went to 25. I hit a body slam, and he got paralyzed, so I should outspeed with a body slam, and it should end it. Yes! Okay, great. Man, that took like four attempts. 
That's uh, harder than I thought, but I need to remember. I can raise relief, the execute, and the Gyarados. And I'm in pretty good shape. So, man, that took more than I thought to uh, finish. But anyway, this final battle at the uh, end of the Elite Four is going to be a bit of a pain, I believe. But anywho, I'm going to finish up here, and I think I'm going to go to Sabrina first, since I'm already in town. And then over to Koga. Alright, so we're finally at uh, Sabrina here. I'm a little nervous for this battle because of her fast and strong psychic types. But I think um, if I can manage to just tank a hit or two, I'll be able to physically dominate them with, like, Body Slam. Um, seeing as how I am way higher level, I think I will be able to get her way without speeding or not. That's cool. <laughs> That's always an option. Hold on, Bulbasaur. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, the Body Slam is going to be the, the ticket here. It's all about just hanging on, though. Mr. Mime, I should outspeed. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Mime. What does she have? Another Kadabra? Oh, no, a Venom. Oh. Ooh. Gonna have to deal with one of these over there at Koga's gym for too long. Side beam, that's gonna hit. Not so bad. Venomoth isn't an actual psychic type, so not the worst case scenario. Alright, here's the big baddie. He's definitely gonna outspeed. If he uses side beam, I won't be in that much trouble, I don't think. Because I'm I want I think that might be one that's Oh, he's reflect. Doesn't matter. Well, oh, is it Reflect or Barrier? I don't know. It was Barrier. Because he is pretty stout now against Body Slam. Just as long as he doesn't knock me out. Ah, oh, never mind, he did. Alright. Um, I think that might have been a critical. I don't know. But, so, my plan going forward is just going to be Body Slam. Um, hopefully get the Paralysis. But I'm not going to change my strategy. I'm just going to have to get lucky. Alright, so I'm not real sure what's happening here. Um, getting texts as if I beat Sabrina? I don't know. <laughs> I just got the TM. What? What's happening? Did I just get the badge? I did. What in the absolute world was that about? Um... Okay. I'm gonna make my way back to her. And just see what all the hubbub's about here, I guess. Because I, I actually want to battle her and win. But if it thinks I have the badge... I don't think I'll be able to do that. I don't know. What a curious little thing that happened there. I know this is not the fastest route, but it's like the only way I know how to get there. That's crazy, though. It must be one of those Pokemon green glitches or something. Will you battle me? No. Um, I beat Sabrina, apparently. Um... Well, I certainly didn't mean to use a glitch or anything, but whatever. I have no doubts that I would have beaten her, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, how peculiar is that? I uh, guess I'm going to Coca then. Alright, then. See you there. Alrighty, so we are here at Koga. Now, I will remind you guys, this gym is full of, like, half psychic Pokemon and half poison and I can speak for I think everyone who does a playthrough with only Bulbasaur I'm sick of psychic types uh, but anywho the poison types aren't gonna be such a big deal because uh, obviously the grass types won't do a lot to it um, but the body slam it's just such a base powerful move I think that's gonna be enough We'll have to see. It was enough for the coffee and the muck. It's going to be a little bit tougher. Got a past half. And we nailed the paralysis. 
Awesome. There ain't no limber in this game. Wow, that did decent damage. I wonder if Bulbasaur is still um, extra weak to poison, even though he's got the poison typing. I don't think he should be, but that doesn't mean anything in Generation 1. And also, I don't know if I've said it um, before in this playthrough, but I really like the coughing sprite in green version here. That's awesome. Way better than blue and red, where he's got the skull and crossbone on his forehead like a doofus. Anyway. Hopefully... Ooh, did not get it to halfway. What's he doing? Whoa, what move was that gonna be? Surely not a solar beam. Hyper beam? What? Maybe he used like a X attack or X defend or something. Don't know. Doesn't matter. Dropped him. So there's Koga. And this time I actually beat the uh, gym leader. I <laughs> didn't somehow glitch my way through it. I don't know. But anyway. So that's cool. Um, I already have my HM friend for Surf. I caught a Psyduck in the Safari Zone. So I'll be able to um, Surf now. But I'm going to actually Surf from Pallet Town. That way I don't have to go through the Seafoam Islands because boy are they kind of annoying. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to walk myself around and go to Pallet Town and I will check up with you guys when I get to Big Bad Blaine. And I say Big Bad Blaine because that's going to be a tough fight. Um, I've got no answers whatsoever for his fire types. I thought um, incorrectly that Bulbasaur learned Dig earlier on, um, but he cannot learn Dig. So just going to have to brute force with some body slams and keep our fingers crossed that we don't have any big issues or Hopefully we can avoid some uh, fire blasts. Alrighty, we have made it all the way to Blaine. Um, and I realized something. Um, I was putting some items that I don't know what they are into the um, PC. Um, and I realized I never went and got the, T or the HM for strength. So I'm hoping I did not put the golden teeth in the PC because then I'm going to have to like sort through a bunch of stuff I can't read. But anyway, that's for me to deal with off screen. Um, yeah, so we're just going to try and body slam everything. Literally the same same strategy we've been doing. Growlithe and Ponyta are not going to be an issue. The issue we may run into is the Arcanine and I think it's a Rapidash also. Hey, 65. Uh, I'm not totally sure though. Yeah. It's gonna outspeed? No, it's not. Well, I'm shocked. Oh, fire spin. Okay. Um, that's not the most powerful move at all. It's just gonna do like some damage. You know what I mean? Although, is this like rap where I get trapped? It is like rap where I get trapped. That's annoying. There we go. Knock it out. Mm -hmm. And the Arcanine definitely has Fire Blast. I can't believe I'm outspeeding though. Can I get a Paralysis? Nope. Nope, there's the Fire Blast. Uh, I'm probably gonna one hit me. No! Wow, shock. Better damage on this one? Oh, I got the Paralysis though. So he just used Ember? Can I tank this? No! Darn it. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah. The strategy is not gonna change. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna let these guys get knocked out, obviously. Why? Why are you doing this? I'm just using growth. Attack me. Wow, he's outspeeding? There's no way. I'm so confused as to what's happening here. Oh, he's being fully paralyzed. That's right. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep using growth so I don't actually attack him, but, um, anyway. Is this seriously happening? Is this game so jacked that he's not gonna be able to attack me? Oh, he used a potion or something. There we go. Anyway, mercy, that was frustrating. I'm gonna keep the same strategy, just hope that... 
What? Oh, my special's so high. Like, how did I not die? Um, anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna use the same strategy. Hopefully they don't give me the badge when I walk in the door. On accident, <laughs> or whatever. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so we are back to the Arcanine. Um, he used one of his potions on the Rapidash for whatever reason. Can we get the... No, we can't. So, yeah, hopefully we can get the Paralysis here. But we cannot. Oh, no, I got burned. That's gonna really hurt my attack stat. Oh, man. Luckily, he's not going for the Fire Blast, though. Oh, come on. Hey, he got the Paralysis, though. Wow, we could get lucky here. Yeah, if he hits this... Oh, no, he did that. Come on, just get a crit. Get a crit, get a crit. No, oh, come on, dude. Long as he's too paralyzed. No, he's got so many potions. Credit. Come on. Oh man, I've only got. Oh, and he hit me. Doggone it. Ugh, that's so annoying. All right, try again. All right, so we had a way cleaner time to get into the Arcanine this time. Um, yeah, everything went way smoother. Ooh, the fire blast though. I don't know what this is gonna do from full health. Wow, literally about half. I don't know if... Dang, I got burned again. Come on. Ah, the burn kills my attack. I think it literally halves your attack. Ah, uh, man, he's not paralyzed either. Dude, come on. He's gonna use Ember, and that's gonna do it. Come on, come on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's so close. Oh, Alright, fine. Okay, so I'm in a bit of a predicament here. The only moves I have for Psyduck are Scratch and Surf. Um, he does not have a lot of health left, and I don't want to kill him with a Psyduck. So, I don't know which one of these is the Pokey Flute. One of them is, that's for sure. I'll try this one. No, this one. No idea what it was, but I don't care. All right, perfect. Got me. Oh no! He used takedown. Okay. Does that mean? What does that mean? Am I gonna white out? Yes, I'm gonna white out. Oh good. That was crazy close. Stupid Arcanine knocking itself out. For goodness sakes, dude. Golly. Okay, I was gonna say, I hope we don't get another glitch, but we don't seem to be having one, so... Okay, technically I beat him, but it wasn't solely with the Bulbasaur, so... I'm gonna redo this. Alright, so that was the cleanest one yet. Three Pokemon, three Body Slams. I think we got a crit on the Rapidash. And we leveled up, so... Let's try this one more time. Okay, starting off good with the Paralysis off the Body Slam. Alright, Fire Blast it is. As long as we don't get burned, I'm not super scared. We did not get the burn. Yes, we did! Dude! This guy's burning me like crazy! All we need is a critical hit on this Arcanine. Oh, it's right there. Come on, dude. The burn with an Ember is gonna knock me out, though. Oh, he used that. Come on, give us a crit. No! Burn! Yes! Oh, got him! Man, that was so close. Oh, lordy. Okay. Awesome. So we beat Blaine. Man, we're not gonna evolve here, obviously. But, holy smokes. So, I gotta go beat Giovanni, and then I gotta go all the way back to Fuchsia to get strength, and then we can do Victory Road. Ah, oh, man, and we got Fire Blast. Not that we can use that, but still. Man, I'm gonna go heal up, and, uh, yeah, go, uh, take on Giovanni. Alright, so we're here at Giovanni. Um... And I haven't even healed up after I went through his gym, because I'm excessively confident that I can uh, pretty much lay waste to his entire team. 
Let's see though, let's see if that overconfidence will bite me squarely on the keister. Alrighty, Rhyhorn. You know what, I'm gonna heal first. <laughs> With the Mega Drain. Not the most powerful, but, oh, it'll still one shot. Perfect. So yes, technically I have healed now. Great. Ooh, and a big old load of XP too. The Trio, going for that Razor Leaf. Oh, hits me with the slash, though. Ah, no big deal. Boy, if I was him, I would have dug, because I got that poison type. But hey, I'm not the, uh, <laughs> I'm not the AI here. Anyway, one shot with Razor Leaf. And I think we have Nido... Okay, Queen. Still gonna Razor Leaf. Um, so I've been fast-forwarding through most of these battles, obviously, and I keep forgetting how long of a little scene plays for Razor Leaf, but... There we go. Drop the Nido Queen. Uh, then we have King next. We do. Should be the same outcome right here, because of course they do have the ground typing, so that makes them super weak to grass types. Um, plus, Razor Leaf um, frequently gets critical hits, so... That's always fun. What do we got? Oh yeah, right on. Same thing, just gonna Razor Leaf. Now, Razor Leaf is 95% accurate, and I have had it have like a string of misses, which is pretty annoying. But all in all, it's been pretty much perfect, so I'm pretty glad with the way that's worked out. Yay! Level 68. Um, but yeah. Also, I think we're gonna get Fissure from Giovanni, and yeah, I'm curious about Fissure, because I know on my yellow playthrough with Krabby, I used Guillotine, but it was more of a hindrance than anything, so I'm probably not going to use Fissure. I don't even know if Bulbasaur can learn it, honestly. Probably not, because you can't learn Earthquake or Dig, so... But anywho, um, I think I'm going to go take on the rival and then go to Koga. So, or not Koga, Fuchsia City to get the Dagum uh, HM for strength. But yeah, this, this next rival battle is going to be a bit of a preview for how the final fight is going to go after the Elite Four. So if you guys want, I'll just take you through this with me. You can see me speed up super fast. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it's not an absolute, like, demolishing that we get here. Cool. What's not? There we go. Um, the biggest things I'm afraid of, obviously, are going to be the Charizard and, honestly, the, um, Pidgeot. I don't know if it knows, like, Sky Attack or anything like that, but I know the Charizard probably knows, like, Flamethrower or Fire Blast, which will be a big bummer for me. But, anyway. Let's see. Pidgeot, of course. 47. Wow, this thing's got some levels. But we're just going to body slam this big old bird. Nearly half. Don't know what that was. Did he use fly or something? I think he used fly. But that was weird. He like didn't leave though. Interesting. Yeah, got him. So that went pretty smoothly. Ride horn. I'm just going to use this chance to heal. Haha, -ha, thank you sir. Hopefully it still one-shots, it does. I said still one-shots like it was not gonna, anyway. And then we got who executes. Um, did I say I could Razor Leaf the execute and it wasn't that big a deal? Or am I crazy? I don't think so, I'm just gonna body slam. Yeah, perfect. See, this is the issue, though. I'm gonna have to use body... I can Razor Leaf the Gyarados, that's what it was. I'm gonna have to Body Slam th so much through the Elite Four that I'm nervous of running out of PP. So it's like, yeah, you can beat all these Pokemon. But, was it Dragon Rage? I think it's a straight 40, so I should have 148 left. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to... Like, in the Elite Four, I'm sure I'll be able to beat most of the Pokemon. 
but it all comes down to how many moves it takes to beat them. So it's like at level 68, sure, I could de defeat I have quite a bit of them, but... Oh, gosh. That's gonna hurt. At least it didn't use Psychic. Oh, that still hurt. And we still have Charizard to go through. But anyway, yeah, so what I'm getting at is I gotta beat the Pokemon fast in the Elite Four, like with minimal moves. But anyway. There goes the Alakazam. Here's the Charizard. 53. Yo. Is that Fire Spin or Flamethrower? I think that was Flamethrower. Okay. I'm gonna have a bit of an issue, it looks like. Alrighty, so this went way smoother this time. Um, alright. See, so yeah, I just, I have to body slam. There's no other choice, really. Um, flamethrower, what's it gonna do to me? Whoa! That was a critical. Doggone it. Well, there goes this, this run. Hey, I outspeed now at level 70. Oh, and we get the paralysis. What's wrong, buddy? I hope he's still gonna hit me with the flamethrower, though. Is it gonna end me? Yeah, it is! So cool how that happens. <sighs> I don't outspeed this time for some reason, yet I'm a higher level. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, dude! That is insane! He keeps getting crits. This dude can't not crit me. But there we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, no, come on. Oh. Oh, that's so close. Darn it. Oh, well. We're getting closer. Uh, I got hit with a psychic from the Alakazam, so I was pretty sure this wasn't going to work, but I just got a critical hit body slam and the paralysis. This could happen. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Awesome. Ow, oh, I got so lucky. I really expected that to be just another one of the many attempts that failed. But got super lucky with that critical body slam. Wow, so if that's any indication of how this final battle is going to go, I'm going to be finding myself going through the Elite Four so many times to attempt the uh, championship battle. But mercy. Okay, so I got to go take a little bit of a break and go get that HM before I can go to Victory Road. But anyway, I'll probably check in with you guys, honestly, when I get to uh, the Elite Four. Alright, we're going to do our very first Elite Four attempt. We are here at Lorelei, and as you can see under the screen, I have my counter for the attempts I'm making at the Elite Four. I have no confidence whatsoever, mainly because Agatha scares me. She has, um, Poison Ghost, so the only things I can use to hurt her are grass type moves and since they are poison type it won't be very effective <sighs> with all that out of the way let's razor leaf this dugong shall we now I've been looking into it um, and Bulbasaur is actually better equipped than I was thinking to take on Lorelei's team as you can see um, I think it was a crit though it doesn't matter we're gonna take it and that's the thing too I'm gonna be getting a lot of experience Ooh, I like that cloister um, just by running through and failing, honestly. So I don't, I'm not going to be too afraid of, uh, of, uh, dying a lot. So, this is like the only grinding I will be getting in the game, period, so. Although the good news is, Razor Leaf seems to be very, very effective for clearing out her team. Aw, oh, man. Amnesia. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a drain. But anywho, um, yeah, it's good that Razor Leaf is working well because it's got the most PP. Somehow, it's got like 25. Oh, also, I'm level 75 now because I used all the rare candies I had collected. Honestly, I collected them on accident because I didn't mean to pick up any items because I don't know what anything is. Um, but I did manage to have, I think, four of them. So, all right, we're just gonna. Finish up with a body slam. Awesome. So the only thing different I would have liked in this battle would be honestly just one move per Pokemon is ideal. And we pretty much had that. I'm not sure about Lapras here though. Yeah, it's gonna take two moves. 
but oh that's a blizzard that's gonna hurt me oh also I'm not using any items either I probably should have said that at some point but I'm not using any healing items <laughs> so that was like a rule I've been sticking to but I don't think I ever actually said that so whoopsies um, but yeah so I'm not gonna heal in between battles or anything like that I just gotta go for it so yeah but it's okay, because I think I'm going to be able to heal up pretty well. Um, especially since Bruno has a lot of Onyx. I think he has two Onyx, actually. So yeah, the two Onyx, and then I'm going to be able to Razor Leaf the Machokes and Machamps. And honestly, no, he doesn't have Machoke, he has Hitmons. So we'll take on the Hitmons with Razor Leaf as well. With two Onyx, two Hitmons, and a Machamp, I believe. Yeah, and we're going to be able to Mega Drain and get a lot of health back. Hopefully we one-shot it still. And uh, survey says... Absolutely can. Awesome. And we gained a good decent... Or a good decent? A good bit of our uh, health back. He's going with another Onyx. He's not. What is that sprite? Wowzers, that's a mess. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Just going to raise relief this abomination. Yeah. That looks like a Doduo is bent over from the back. Like his fist on his left is like its butt and leg, and his arm and other fist is like a beak looking down. And everything else is just terrifying. And Hitmon Lee. Not bad, actually. Not a bad looking sprite. He looks a little cross eyed, but hey, that's okay. He's probably been hit a bunch. And, wow, we are one-hitting everything so far, so that's encouraging for sure. I know Agatha will not be that the same case, though. Agatha is always a hiccup. But we nailed him. We're nearly full health, so that's cool. Yeah, the only thing that would absolutely crush us is if... Ooh, I like that. Is if we were to get frozen by Lorelei because the only way to get unfrozen in Gen 1 is um, uh, getting either using a full restore or getting hit by a fire type move. So it's kind of uh, a bad situation there if that's the case. But we plowed right through Bruno, so that's cool. Hey, and level 76. Awesome. Man, so, yeah, the first attempt is going well. I think this is going to mirror most of the attempts where I'm going to get through these two really easily. But the big first hiccup is definitely going to be uh, Agatha, which is who we're taking on next. Um, but the good part is, through going through those two, I'm going to get a lot of XP every time. <sighs> but anyway, here's the, here's the first um, issue, I believe. Alright. Starting off with a Gengar, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Not the worst sprite I've ever seen. Um, obviously, I cannot body slam because they are ghost types. I will have to rely on getting psychic. And that might end it right here, right now. No, it didn't. Not even close. Cool. We didn't get confused either, so that's helpful. But what damage are we going to do? Such a little amount. And that's hypnosis. Yeah. Okay. And I believe that's Dream Eater. Yeah. Man, so that's really going to be the the big issue there. I guess I could use the Pokey Flute, but I don't know. Is that considered a healing item? Ah, uh, boy. I don't know. I'm going to do it with no items. So, anyway. I'm just going to let this guy pick me off. And I'll pop in whenever I finally beat Agatha. Probably around attempt 400 or 500. Alrighty, so we have managed to get down to the last Gengar here on attempt number 3, which is pretty much a miracle, honestly. Um, I've avoided all the hypnosises and everything like that thus far. So hopefully we can keep this up. Wow, that did nothing. But that's sort of the deal. 
I did try um, a solar beam last time, but it just takes the two turns is too much. I can't waste them. Although maybe I will. I'll try one. I don't see me um, completing the challenge this run anyway, even if I beat him. But there's the big bad uh, psychic. But it shouldn't be too crazy though. And there's the solar bo solar beam. Yeah, okay, it didn't quite do it. I'll go with the razor leaf. Hope we get a critical, and that will do Agatha for the first time. Yeah, all right. Awesome, I was not expecting it that quickly. That's awesome. So great. Okay, cool. So now we're going to Lance, and he's got a Gyarados and an Aerodactyl that I'm comfortable using Mega Drain on in order to heal up a little bit. Although that Gyarados does no Hyper Beam, which is terrifying, but I don't know if I'm going to one-hit it with a Grass move. I don't know how the Flying type is going to counteract it, but we'll find out very soon. There's the Gyarados, level 58. We're 20 levels ahead, though. Honestly, maybe I just forget about healing on this thing and just go for the knockout. I'm going for the knockout. Hopefully it works. I know uh, I razor leafed the Gyarados from my rival. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, I'm just going to body slam it here. Oh my goodness, dude. Dragon Rage. Okay, that could be worse. Could be worse. I know it's not going to get me much HP, but I don't want to waste any of my better moves dropping this thing down. Um, let's see. Who's he going to use next? Maybe the Aerodactyl. Dragonair. I can body slam these, I'm pretty sure, and one shot them. No, I can't. That's scary. I don't know what he did, but. Well, I don't know what was happening there, but it doesn't matter. It's down. Alright. The other Dragonair. I don't know. One knows Thunder and one knows Blizzard, I think. Alright. Don't know what that was. <laughs> Something keeps missing, I guess. Boy, I don't know. That's weird. But I don't care. Here's the Aerodactyl. Ooh, I like that sprite. It is rock type, so I'm gonna try and get. Oh, it's working up the hyper beam. Yikes. Hang tight, Bulbasaur. If I don't die, which I didn't, I'm gonna get two moves off because he has to recover for a move. Yeah, and that's gonna heal a decent amount, actually. I'm gonna do that one more time because he has to recharge from the hyper beam. Awesome. Honestly, I'm just gonna finish him off with it, too. Don't know what move that is. Bite, maybe? Oh, takedown. Okay, so my health is not great right now. But that's okay. We've got a Dragonite left to deal with. And we leveled up. Great. That helps. All these levelers, levels are going to help uh, tremendously the farther we get. That's an unfortunate sprite. I mean, I know what it is, but yoikes. Wow, that didn't do very much at all. I think he just took off into the sky. So I'm going to wind up a solar beam. I don't know, is he... I don't know what is happening there. I'm just gonna hit him with a solar beam, I guess. Yeah, that did bas basically nothing. Okay, I think that's Reflect. Hopefully we can get a critical here. Oh, we got the Paralysis, though. That helps. That really helps. Oh, man. I'm burning up. No! Hyper Potion. Okay. Yikes, yikes, yikes. We're gonna run out of PP here. Uh, cause we still have the champion battle here. Hopefully we just get a crit. Yeah. <sighs> that barrier is gonna end up hurting us really bad. I think that's barrier. I don't know what it is, but either way, it's knocking down our special attack. If we can get a crit and it'll break through that, that would be just fine with me. 
I assume that's barrier. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can look up his moveset, I guess, but I don't care that much. Just gonna keep uh, solar beaming this thing. There we go, that was a crit. Just gonna keep winding up. I'm not sure why he's not attacking. I don't know. Although, it could be an AI thing, where he's gonna try and do a super effective move, and if he's using barrier, then that might be a psychic type move, and he thinks it's gonna be super effective on me, because of the grass type, or the poison type. I don't know, but we beat him. So, I don't know what his dumb idea was, but <laughs> I don't care either. Uh, awesome. So, honestly, if we know that's gonna be the case going into the lance battle, um, we should be okay. And we can use that to our advantage. Maybe use the, um, Mega Drains, um, in order to heal up better. I don't know. But here we go. This is... I don't believe we'll, we're gonna get it here, obviously. But... Yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. I don't even know. I don't... I didn't pay attention to what the counts were on our moves. But... No matter. This guy talks a lot. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. This could be the last battle of the playthrough happening in real time. Let's see. Pidgeot, of course. Level 61. And I have two takedowns. Or not takedowns, but body slams. Yeah, this is kind of what I thought was going to happen. That'll hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah gonna have to get a little bit stouter than we are. Still gonna beat the Pidgeot just for the sake of doing it, I hope, with the Razor Leaf. Uh, yes, it will. Great. So, obviously, it's not gonna get this one. But, no matter. Yeah, I can't hurt this thing, really. I mean, I'll go for it. Yeah, Psy Beam. Or, yeah, that's Psy Beam. Okay. That's fine. We got really far, actually, so I'm cool with this uh, attempt, but uh, pretty much got to forfeit here. Alright, so we are at attempt number 20, and this is the very first time I got all the way to the Charizard. As you can see, I have leveled up substantially. Um, here's the PP situation. I've only got two body slams. Um, yeah, five vine or, uh, razor leaves. I am out of Mega Drains, and I have two Solar Beams left. I think I just have to use these two Body Slams and hope it works. Um, wow. That was a lot. He used Flamethrower. I'm betting this gonna take me out, though. It didn't. Holy smokes, am I gonna do it? Come on. I don't know what all this stuff means. No! He used Fire Spin! No! Come on, come on. Okay, it's gonna continue. What's it taking off every time? 46? Oh, it's taking 16, so I can only take one more of these. That has to be the last one. Yes! Yes! Oh! Got it! There it is! Oh! We did it! Oh, we did it. Holy smokes! That was wild! I can't believe we survived that on 14 HP. I legitimately did not show uh, the first part of this battle. Oh, hit the B button. What am I doing? Did not show the beginning of this battle because I was like, ah, I've only got about half health rolling in here. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get, you know, tossed here. But yeah, I couldn't have been more wrong. That was crazy. What a... Everything went right, I guess. I had enough body slams left. Um, part of that was because instead of using body slams on... What was it? On Agatha's. No, I kept using body slam on like the Arbok and the uh, Golbat. But luckily, I was strong enough. I was able to one-shot them. Um, that way I didn't have to burn two or three on each Pokemon. And she did not heal them. She healed the Haunter and I think the last Gengar, maybe? So I didn't actually have to uh, deal with using multiple body slams on her two only poison types. So that definitely saved me some moves. And honestly, no, that definitely did it. Because if I would have had to use uh, two more body slams in her fight, we wouldn't have had enough for the Charizard. So that's definitely what did it. But wow. 
What a run, am I right? Golly. I'm so pleased with this. But yeah, so anyway, if you guys uh, stuck around this long, I mean, leave a like, would you? Holy smokes. There it is, level 96. Of course, Bulbasaur. Woo, only Bulbasaur, but we bring along our HM friends. So we have our Cut friend, Bellsprout, and we have our Surfing Buddy and our Strengthy Boy, Psyduck. So yeah, those two made it possible, the HM friends. I feel like they're always overlooked. Anyway, yeah, that time of 67 hours, not accurate, because when I speed up, I'm currently hitting about 8,000 times the amount of uh, speed according to my visual boy thing, so the time's all wrong on that. But anyway, that's going to do it. So, hey, I can officially say now, I have played and beaten Pokemon Green. Holy smokes. Probably never going to do this again, but that was, um, that was fun. I can say I did it now. But, uh, yeah, for the next game I'm doing, I really don't know. I'm leaning towards Generation 3, but I don't know. You guys will just have to find out when it comes out. But anyway, thank you guys so much, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.